Hello and welcome, this is Angie with TheCountryStreetCottage.net and today's video is sponsored by PNC. Who's PNC? PNC is the bank that brings you the Christmas price index every year. They take the 12 days of Christmas, all those gift ideas, and put a price to them. It's a fun way to learn about inflation and how things increase in price over, the t over time. So today is day 11. So I have day 11 and it's 11 Piper's Piping. And I made some cute cookies, Gingerbread Man, and they're actually holding a fun, like, looks kind of like a flute. And just a fun gift idea if you make a batch of these and give them to, you know, friends and family for the holidays. So let's see how to make these and get the recipe. So our super simple recipe for gingerbread cookies will use a spice cake mix, half a cup of butter, and one egg. You'll want to make sure that the egg is cold and not at room temperature. You'll also need a gingerbread cookie cutter, something to mix it in, something to roll the cookies out. We're going to sift the cake mix. Um, something to mix with. So a parchment lined baking sheet and some wax paper for rolling. We're going to mix together the butter and the egg in a large bowl. The butter should be at room temperature but not melted. Then you'll want to sift in the cake mix. Now, the cake mix does need to be 15.25 ounces for this recipe to work. So look for a brand that has the specific measurements on the box. Once sifted, just combine all of your ingredients in the bowl. The mixture may appear crumbly, but it will be fine once we knead it and roll it out. I've chilled the dough for about an hour, and now I'm going to roll it out between two sheets of wax paper. And we're going to roll it really thin. So the thinner these are, and the colder the dough, the less they'll spread as they bake. We want them to spread as little as possible so that we get a good gingerbread man shape. And we're just gonna use our cookie cutters and cut some gingerbread man. Then just remove all the excess. You can re-roll this out and make additional cookies. Then just peel up and add to a parchment lined baking sheet. Then once you have an entire cookie sheet, take them to the oven. Take a small piece of fondant and roll it into a snake. You can trim off any excess fondant and make your flute the right size. Use the end of a straw and make the buttons for your flute all the way down. And then you can also make a mouthpiece on one end. Then we're going to use an edible silver spray and spray the entire thing. Allow that to dry and it's ready for your gingerbread man. Then once your cookies have cooked and cooled completely, you can start adding decoration. You'll want to add eyes, a smiley mouth, a few embellishments if you wish, and then you'll want to add on your flute that you previously decorated. So thank you all so much for joining me today. Give us a thumbs up on YouTube, subscribe so you don't miss any other crafty fun, scroll back a couple of videos, and you'll see my take on Eight Maids of Milking as well, so you don't want to miss this milk bath gift, gift as well. You can also head to the link in the description for this video and see some other great crafts for the other days of 12 Days of Christmas, so you don't want to miss those as well. So thank you all so much for joining me today, and I'll see you later.